Oh, not again. That's the third time this week. Get some cream? I know you put it there. How would I get hold of a Polynesian tiger crab, if, if, if that's what it is? Because you work in a zoo. Phil, where did you get this off to shave? Hey, I never said you could use that. Well, I wish you hadn't. It smells like Ron Seal. Well, it's the only one not tested on animals. What? Jeez, it might be corrosive. God, they don't test it on animals for a laugh, you know. Yeah, that's nice, coming from a zookeeper. Hey, animal liaison worker. And I spend all day looking after them animals, so don't start. Looking after? Locking them up? Poking them? Making them dance? Hey, we don't poke them. Uh, you're just a prison guard, basically. Morning, man. Morning, Morning Mum. Mom. Listen, Nobhead, if it wasn't for zoos, half them animals would be extinct. We've got a Nepalese tiger. We've got the world's only flightless wasp. We've got a troop of Indian elephants with only one leg each. Oh, and that's sweet. Yeah, they have to hang on to each other's trunks, stop them falling over. Oh. Thanks, Mum. Mum, he's making it up. I'm not. Look, when people like me get a say, all the zoos will be shut down. People like what? Lazy bastards. Thanks, Mum. Activists. People who are prepared to go out there and change things for themselves. Mum, could you put some jam on that for me, please? Uh, since when have you been an animal rights activist? Actually, I'm going to Spain this week to disrupt a bullfight. Spain? Who's paying for that? Well, we've got a network of supporters all over the world. The Zapatistas in Mexico. The Burmese resistance movement. I know that Sting contributes a great deal. All right, so Mum's paying for it then, is she? Yeah. There you go, love. Oh, ta. Um, and could you cut it into quarters for me, please? So, uh, who are you on this holiday with? Just a girl. A girl? Are you sure? Have you, uh, have you checked? Jealous? No. Anyway, it's not a holiday. It's a protest against people like you, zookeeper. Hey, animal liaison worker. Come on, Harry. You're going to be late. Bye, love. See you. Oh, Mum, I need to pay for the flights. Have you got that money sorted for me? I want to meet this girlfriend of yours first. Mum, she's not my girlfriend. Yeah, she's well, whatever she is. Bring her around for tea tomorrow. We'll have a nice, relaxed chat, get to know each other, then we'll see about money. Right. J just don't show me up, though, eh? I won't. I've got the loft and get twisted. I've got for you. Hey, woo! There we go. Oh, yeah. Here we go. We got a nice big bucket of water for you. So we're just going to. Hey, hey! Come on, give us that back! Come on, come on, give it. Just give us that back, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just move up. Go, oh, whoa! That tiger seems very fond of you, James. Well, she's a lovely animal. He. You have quite a rapport with all the animals. Oh, I think it's probably this aftershave, really, sir. James, I think you're ready to take your relationship with our animals to the next level. Yeah, yeah, it's 6 Hilton Street, but, but it's actually on the corner of Edgerton Road, so you kind of have... Well, look, just wait outside the spa at the top of the road, yeah? OK, and that's Friday at 9 for the airport. Yeah, cheers. That's that sorted. Have you ever seen anything quite so disgusting as that? Wild animals being patronised by ignorant people. <laughs> Literally thrown crusts of bread. It's obscene. Yeah. I just wanted to say, Phil, how inspired I am that you're coming to Spain with me. I really think we can achieve a lot together. I really, really hope so. I know. Andy had some doubts about you at first. Yeah, well, what would Andy know with his, with his eyebrow ring and his little goat beard? It's all right, Phil. He can see your commitment now. 
he just wishes he was coming with us. Yeah, he's not, though. He told me that whenever he tries to leave the country, MI5 take an interest. He just can't afford the attention. Yeah, can't afford the ticket, more like. So you've got the money sorted, then? Well, almost. I've got the flights and everything booked. We just need to attend a meeting with a private sponsor. Now, she may ask a few tricky questions. Oh, can you see his little nose on that one? He was lovely when he was that age, wasn't he? Of course, it wasn't long after that that he bit Jimmy on the penis. We had to have him destroyed. Mum, Helen isn't interested in pictures of the dog. But you told me she liked animals. No, I said she supports animal rights. She doesn't like them. She believes, like me, that it's wrong to express... A... No, that it's wrong to fundamentally... I believe that it's fundamentally wrong for us to exploit and oppress a non-human community. Oh, so have you got any pets? No. Mum, Helen's like me. She's an activist. She wants to change things, do things. Like you? But you don't do anything, love. Most nights he just sits with his back against the bedroom door watching Buffy the Vampire. That's why I'm so pleased he's got a girlfriend. Oh, no, I'm... I'm and now here you are, going off on holiday together. Mum, it's not a holiday. But I said to him, I said, look, I said, if you're going on holiday with a girl, I want to meet her first. I mean, you could have been from some religious cult. Come back in ten days, he'd be a moomin. Mum! So seeing as you are going off on holiday together, you're going to need some protection. Philip, did you tell her I was your girlfriend? Well, she sort of assumed it. Because there's nothing going on between us. Yeah, I know. We can't even begin to think about things like that until we've done the work we've got to do. Yeah, I know. Next Tuesday. So, has she gone for the money? Well, I think you've made a good impression. She usually makes it pretty obvious when she hasn't warmed to someone. <laughs> Mum, what are you doing? <coughs> it's just jumble sale stuff. Thought you might like it. Right. Now, Philip, I got you this pen knife. Thanks, Mum. And some jewellery for your girlfriend. Oh. Uh, and, uh, and a gun. Oh, this, yeah. <laughs> Bit of a struggle with Mrs Turton for this. Lucky I was holding this end. And this was a, uh, a jumble sale? At the police station, yeah. For this charity. Amnesty. Loads of people bringing things in, but nobody seemed to be buying anything. That's why I went a bit over the top. It's, uh, it's lovely, Mrs Tierney. Oh, very modern. A and the meal was lovely as well. Y you'd never have known it's vegetarian. What? It, yeah, Mum and I have been veggie for years now. Meat's murder, she always says. She won't have it in the house. Hello. Look what I've got. Four big bags full of meat. <laughs> it's pork, beef. Ostrich and uh, dolphin. Very intelligent fish, dolphin. Very good for the brain. <laughs> Philip, who is this person? Oh, uh, Helen, this is Philip's brother, Jimmy. Jimmy works at the zoo. Yeah, it's a brilliant job. Spend all day with the animals. They get to take home meat off the dead ones. <laughs> I think I'll go now. I don't feel very well. No, 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 don't go. We haven't had pudding. I just don't want to be in this house any longer. Oh, God, neither do I. But, Helen, listen, think of the poor, defenceless little bull. <laughs> we have to do this. Yeah. Yes. Think of the bull. 